abnormal obesity and you have all the other things, definitely you are metabolic syndrome. Right? Uh. So that's what you can see from here. There is no total cholesterol. They only focus on two: triglyceride and HDL. That's why in my clinic, I don't monitor total cholesterol. I just focus on the HDL and triglyceride because these are two indicators of inflammation in your system, which is more significant in terms of risk factors for heart, heart disease or cardiovascular disease. That's how we should look into it. Most of the time, we have two focusing on cholesterol. We just focus on giving some anti-cholesterol medication, whatever, right? And oh, once the cholesterol is low, they say, we'll say okay. But you didn't look at the HDL and you don't look at the triglyceride, which is more important actually. That's why we can see now more people are getting heart attack as young as 30 years old, right? Because we don't focus on the right thing. Because the, the issue is actually there is no medication, there is no pharmaceutical agent to reduce your triglyceride. Right. The, the only way to reduce exercise is to manage your food, <laughs> manage your nutrition. That's how it is. Right. And usually it is associated with other things like type, type 2 diabetes, hypertension, and fatty liver. Non alcoholic fatty liver disease. I've seen a lot of patients like this. They come with high uric acid, they come with some uh, derangement in the liver, liver enzymes. Right. Usually we have some issues with diabetes and also abdominal obesity. And, and then the worst part actually it, they are being advised not to take fats right in actual fact if you want to reduce your fatty liver you should take fats ah that's what we got to learn today right ah this is the whole the risk factors for metabolic syndrome and that is the consequence of metabolic syndrome and this is what we are seeing in the community nowadays you can see the hospital is full with these people right PCOS cancers cardiovascular disease type 2 diabetes I think two, three days back, our, I think yesterday, <laughs> our Minister of Health and announced that nations is number one in Asia, right? And no, Asia, uh, South Asia, Asia for diabetes. Actually, we were number one since 2011. <laughs> no. 2018, we are number one in Asia. It's not in South Asia, we are number one in Asia. Actually, we are getting worse and worse and worse. And all these consequences of this, are full in the hospital. That's, that's very big hospital there. Eh? <laughs> you can see this every day, right? Uh, that's the whole idea. 